Hi, sweetie. Centren, you need to unmute. Okay, yeah. Uh, hi, Centren. Can you hear? How are you today? I'm great. Good. Okay, now we're going to talk about this picture, okay? Yes. Okay. Just want to say here I can see you. Okay. Now we're going to talk about. I just want to go up first and see if this is part two as well. If this is part one. Yes. Okay, part two. Okay, so. Then, Tren, where are you now? Are you in the bedroom? Are you in the kitchen? Where are you now? You can unmute. There's nobody learning with us, so you can leave your mic open, okay? Yes. Leave your Okay, leave your mic open. Okay, tell me, where are you? I'm in the bedroom. Okay, what can you see in the bedroom? I can see... The shell, the fun, and many books. Okay, and are you alone, or is your mother or brother? Who's with you there? My mother. Your mother. What's your mother doing? My mother is working in a computer. Okay, and um, is it uh, cold, or is it hot? It's cold. Cold, okay. All right. Okay, now look at this picture. Can you see this picture? Yes. Okay. Uh, who can you see in this picture? I can see three, three, uh, three students uh, are reading books in the library. library. They are reading books in the library, yes. What are they doing? Can I see what they page? They are reading books. Are they reading? Yes. I don't think they are reading. I think they are writing. Don't you think they are writing a homework or a project? Do you think yeah. they read? Look, look in their hands. You can see a pen in their hand, so they're not reading. What do you think they're doing? What are they doing? They are writing homework. They are writing a book. They are writing in their books, yes. What can you see on the chairs? I can see four bags. Four bags on the chairs, yes. Can you see the bag in the front? Is there yes. a student sitting on the chair? No. No. So do you think there could be four students? No. Yes, there could be four. Look, because they all have their backpacks behind their chairs and maybe she's got hers behind her chair. So we can draw the conclusion that there is a, another fourth student, but maybe he's looking at the books or he's to, to, to went to the toilet. There could be four kids because there's also a book lying there. Do you see? So the fourth yes. child is not there. Two boys and one girl. They are either doing homework or a project. What can you see in the background? I yeah. can see. I can see many books in the shelf. Many books on the shelves. How many shelves can you see? I can see four shelves. Okay. Um, what can you see on the shelves? I can see 
plants and books. There are plants, yes. Do you think it's late afternoon? Do you think it's in the morning? I think in the morning. Uh, morning, okay. okay. Let me just take these. Uh, this photo of Okay, so I'm going to type it for you, okay? So let's just take this away. Here and here. Okay, so now we're going to practice. In this picture, I, I see three students sitting at a table. There is one girl and two boys. They are writing either their homework or they are working on a project. They are wearing, uh, they are all wearing school uniforms. I can see three students sitting at a table. Uh, there is one girl and two boys. They are writing other their homework or in school uniforms. This uh, um, It's they are in their school's library. I can, let's say I can tell. Um, I see you quickly. I can tell you. Furthermore, I can tell that they are in their school's library because they are all wearing school uniforms. In this picture, I see three students sitting at a table. There is one girl and two boys. They are writing either their homework or they are working on a project. Furthermore, I can tell that they are in their school library because they are all wearing school uniforms. They are hanging their backpacks on their chairs. However, there is one backpack on a chair without a student Without a student. This student might be looking for more books or went to, or the student is in the bathroom. In the background, I see four large bookshelves all filled with neatly packed books. There are two pot plants on some of the shelves too. Okay, let's see if you can read this, Trey. In, In the picture, I see In the picture, I see three students sitting at a table. There is one girl and two boys. They are writing in their, their homework or they are working on a project. 
Furthermore, I can tell that they are in their school's library, library because they are all wearing school uniforms. They are hanging. Hanging. Hanging their backpack on their chairs. However, there is one backpack on a chair without a student. This student might be looking for more books or this student is in the bathroom. In the background, I see for lack bookshelf all filled with netty back books. There are two pot plants on some of the shelves too. Okay. I want you to read it one more time, then I'm going to take it away, okay? Okay, read it again. In this picture, I see three students sitting at a table. There is one girl and two boys. They are writing either their homework or they are working on a project. Furthermore, I can tell that they are in their school libraries because they are all wearing school uniforms. They are hanging their backpacks on their chairs. However, there is one backpack on a chair without a student. This student might be looking for more books or this student is in the bathroom. In the background, I see four large bookshelves and all filled with nasty bike books. There are two pot planes on some of the shelves too. Uh, okay, now I want you to say it without it, okay? Try here. Okay, tell me again. On the, in the picture, I can see three, three students are are writing homework or they are working project or there are three there are three white box on their chair however i see a backpack on the chair with our student. I think uh, this student is in the bathroom or few more books. Looking for more books. Looking for more books. Uh, in the background, I can see four lap, four lap bookshelf on the shelf. There are many books, and uh, plants and two pot plants. Okay, good. Much better. Okay, let's go here. So, it says here, a, a school wants to have a cookery competition for students and needs to choose a suitable prize for the winners. Look at the four possible prizes. Now, it's a cook cookery competition, so you have to cook in the competition so you can win a prize. So you can either win a set of pots, a chef's hat, two cookbooks, 
for Guan and Ku, or a nice decorated cake. Now, Trang, which one would you like to win? If you could win any of these prizes, which one would you choose? Uh, I like books. You want the books. Why do you want the books? Because the book helped me cook, cook many food very delicious. Okay. Okay, and what can you do with the books? I I study uh, I study some I study I study be some cooking style. Okay, so let me open this one quickly. Okay, I just want to open this one if again I want to. Okay, so uh, here, I'm gonna open this quickly. I'll take it away again. So the cookbook, it can give you some new ideas. Okay, here, let me type it for you. So I would, so I think the best prize for the cookery competition would be the set of cookbooks. Uh, the books can teach me new techniques introduce me to new ways of cooking and and help me develop new skills furthermore the chef's hat, the cake, and the pot won't add any value to my cooking. All of these would be nice to have um, by saying this. All of these would be nice to have. I could use the pot for my, for cooking my meals, the hat to keep my hair out from the food, and the, okay. I could use the pots for cooking my meals and I had to keep my hair out of out of the food. The cake would be delicious to taste and maybe spark new ideas. for my future baking. Okay, let's read it again, Trang. 
So I think. So I think the best price for the cook cookery competition would be the set of cookbooks. The books can take me new techniques. 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 Introduct me to new ways of cooking and help me develop new skills. Furthermore, the chefs have the cut and the post one add any volume to my cooking by saying that all of this you would be all of nice. these. These would be nice to have. These this would be nice to have. I could use the post for cooking my meals and the hat to keep my hair out of the food. The cake would be delicious to taste my and maybe spark new ideas for my food to make it. Okay. Right, let's try one more time to read and I want you to remember this, okay? Yes. So, I think the best prize for the cook, cooker, cookery competition would be the set of cookbooks. The books can take me new ten, ten quiz. Techniques introduct me to new ways of cooking and help me develop my new skills. Furthermore, the chefs had the cake and the post one add any volume to my cooking by saying that all of this would be nice to have. I could Use a post for cooking my meals and the heart to keep my hand, my hair out, out the food. The cake would be delicious to take and maybe spark new ideas for the, my future making. Okay. Are there any words here you don't understand? You have to tell me now, okay? If you don't understand, so I can play it for you. Okay. Now, which words don't you know? Do you know all the words? Yes. You know all the words. Do you understand all the words? Yes. Okay. Let's see if you can tell me again. Which prize would you like best? Uh, uh, I think the best prize for the cooker competition uh, would be the set of books. The books can take me uh, new techniques. It taught up me to new ways of uh, cooking and help me cook some and help me cook some food delicious. Help me cook delicious food. Delicious food. For, furthermore, the hat, the cake, and the pearl, and the pot won any volume to my cooking by saying that. Oh, of this, 
would be nice to have. I nice to have. Nice to have. I could use a pot for cooking meals and had to keep my hair out of the food. The cake would be delicious to taste and spark new idea for my future baking. Good, well done. Okay, let's go here. Mm. A boy wants to buy a present for his older sister who has just got her driving license. Discuss these ideas for a present. Okay, let's discuss these ideas. Okay, let's discuss these ideas. What would you buy your older brother or sister and they just got their driving license? What would you buy? Uh, I bought a car. Okay, but this is a toy car, okay? It's a remote control car. It's a toy car. This is a t-shirt, cleaning bucket and cleaning, um, like you can clean your car and then you've got gloves. Which one would you buy your brother or sister? Which one would you choose to give your brother? He just got his driving license. Would you give him a t-shirt? I guess I have it for you. It's a t-shirt with a picture of a car. This is a toy car, a remote control car. Cleaning materials or gloves. Which one would you buy? I bought a t-shirt. You will buy a t-shirt? Why will you buy a t-shirt? Because I bought this shirt to mm -hmm. uh to take to take mm -hmm. photo. Okay, why won't you buy a toy car? Uh I buy a toy car to play when I what? Do you think he will use his toy car if he's got a car to drive? Would he play with the toy car? Remember, you are you are congratulating him. You're giving him a present because he's got his driving driving license. Uh, now, when you drive in your car, you won't really need gloves. So I won't really buy the gloves, and I won't really buy the toy car because he won't play with the car. He's big now, he's got a driving license. So I would either buy the t-shirt or I would buy the material, the cleaning material so he can clean his car. So let's say, yeah, these are great choices. For these are great choices for a gift. However, I would most probably buy my sister a t shirt or cleaning materials. The t-shirt, oh. okay, so these are great choices for a gift. 
These are great choices for a gift. However, I would most probably buy my sister a t-shirt or cleaning materials. Okay, let's say here. Um, Okay, tell me again, why would you buy a t-shirt? I buy a t-shirt because these are great choices for a gift. However, I would most prob probably buy my sister a t-shirt or cleaning material. Okay. Um... Why would you not buy the gloves? Because uh, I don't buy the gloves because Why do you think they won't need gloves? Because when uh when I buy the lips, when I wear the lips, I feel you think they have gloves? Okay, so why won't you buy gloves? Because they don't have why won't you buy gloves? Yeah, I don't buy gloves because when I when I wear it, I feel uncomfortable. Oh, when you wear it, okay. But now it's not for you. So these are great choices for a gift. However, I would most probably buy my sister a t-shirt or cleaning materials. Um, if, no, I would suggest that the boy However, I would su suggest that the boy buy his sister a t-shirt or cleaning materials. If the boy buys a t-shirt for his sister, she can wear it many times and If the boy buys a t-shirt for his sister, she can wear it many times and to any place. Uh, let's say, if the boy buys a t-shirt for his sister, she can wear it uh, whenever she wants. The same goes for the cleaning materials. His sister could use these to clean the car she is driving. Furthermore, uh, furthermore, girls, furthermore, his sister has just got her driving license and won't uh, won't need to wear gloves in a car. She just has just got her driving license and won't need to wear gloves in a car. For the toy car, I won't suggest buying it as she is um, older now and won't need to play with it if she could drive a car. Okay, can you read them for us? These are great. This is a great choice for a no, gift. No, these are great choices. These are great choices for a gift. 
However, I would should get that the boy by his sister a t-shirt or cleaning materials. If the boy buys a t-shirt or his sister, she can she can wear it when whenever she wants. The same goes for the cleaning materials. This sister could use this to clean the car she is driving. For the mom, his sister has just got her driving license, listens, and won't need to wear gloves in a car. For the toy car, I want to get by it as she is older now and won't need to play with it if she could drive a car. Good. Okay, read it one more time, then we're going to take it away, okay? Yes. Okay, you can read. Okay, these it's are the same goes for the cleaning materials. This sitter could Use this to clean my to clean the car she is driving. Furthermore, his sister has just got her driving license and won't need to wear gloves in the car. For the toy car, I want I want to guess by in it. As she is older now and won't need to play with it if she can drive a car. Okay. Now you tell me again which toy or which present would you buy? Uh, this are uh, this are uh, great toys. For present. However, I should get that the boy by his sister a t-shirt or cleaning materials. If the boy buy a t-shirt for his sister. She can wear it whenever she wants. The mm -hmm. same goes for the cleaning materials. He see the could you this to clean the car she is driving. His sister has just got her driving and one driving need, license. The driving license and one need to wear gloves in the car. Yes, well done. She won't need to use it in the car. For the toy car, I will not should guess. Buying t-shirt, buying it as she is older, and one need to play with it if she could drive the car. Okay. Now I don't 